Hey DIYers, Dylan here with AlarmGrid. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to connect the Prowl Touch keypad. It's gonna be out of frame, sorry about that. Power cord's a little short. Uh, but we're gonna connect the Prowl Touch keypad to our Pro A7 Plus panel. And to connect that, we're gonna use the AP or access point mode instead of connecting this through Wi-Fi. Okay, so we have our Pro A7 Plus system and we have the Prowl Touch keypad. Uh, so before we get started, something to note is that when you're trying to connect through AP mode, your system itself needs to be on firmware version 03.1297.50.0 or higher for this AP mode to be available. So you'll want to check the firmware of the panel if this is also connected with an alarm company. They can check that firmware for you remotely and also push any updates over the air. So as long as your panel is on the correct firmware, you will have this AP mode uh, available to you. So before we connect through the AP mode, uh, we previously had these two connected through a Wi-Fi connection. And just to make sure they don't try to connect through that Wi-Fi connection again, we're gonna forget the Wi-Fi network from the Prowl Touch. So to do this, we're gonna go into Wi-Fi networks. As you see, it says right here, connected to our alarm grid. That is our Wi-Fi network. That's gonna pull up a list of the networks. We're gonna tap on connect the network. And then in the top right, we see the forget option. Okay, so that cleared it. We see there's nothing under connected networks. Uh, it's just gonna show the available networks now. So we'll back out of there. We're gonna keep this right here and then we're gonna go over to the Pro A7 Plus. We're gonna press on the uh, bottom menu here. We're gonna scroll until we get to tools. We're gonna enter the master code. We have ours still set as the default, which is one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna see right here, Wi-Fi touchscreen enrollment. Uh, now, there is also another way to access this, just real quick. Again, we press the bottom. We're going to scroll down to Tools. We're going to use the installer code this time. Uh, ours is still at the default, so 4112. We're going to go to Programming, Peripherals, Add, and then we'll see the Add Wi-Fi touchscreen option. Uh, so we're going to go back to the other way, but this is essentially the screen that we're going to get to. This is how we pair through AP mode. It's going to give us an SSID of the panel, and it's going to give us a password to enter. So it's back out of there. All the way back, back into the three menu. Tools, again, the master code, one, two, three, four. And then Wi-Fi touchscreen enrollment. Okay, so we have that set up right now. So now we're gonna go back to the Prowl Touch keypad and we're gonna add this information through the keypad. So we're going to do add Wi-Fi. We're gonna see the Pro A7. We're gonna check the SSID, make sure these match. They do. We're gonna enter in the password. Okay, so okay, we have the password entered. We're going to press save and we're going to connect. Okay, we have the connected showing on the Prowl Touch. We're gonna wait for this to fully connect to the actual Pro A7 Plus system. Okay. Uh, we have the connection. It's going to ask us for either the installer or the master code. So we're just going to enter the master code. Again, we have the default one, two, three, and four. 
All right, connected to controller, press OK. All right, so let's back out to the home screen of the panel here. Uh, so right away, we're seeing that the error we have on the Pro A7 Plus, this is for another keypad we had to set up initially, uh, which is powered down, so that's why we're getting that error there. That's showing on the Prowl Touch, so that's a good indication. Uh, we have the times both matched up, 3.03 p.m. Uh, now let's go ahead and try to arm from both and just make sure that both of them arm the exact same way. So first we'll do it from the Pro A7. We're gonna arm it to arm home. Armed home. Perfect, we get the countdown on both. We're gonna cancel. Enter in our master code. Perfect, we saw that both the Pro A7 Plus and the Prowl Touch disarmed. And now we're gonna do that same uh, sequence, but in reverse. So we're gonna start from the Prowl Touch, arm it, we'll do arm home again. Okay, we get the same countdown on both. Both are saying arm, uh, arm home. We're gonna cancel. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then we got the disarm on both the Pro Touch and the Pro A7 Plus keypad. Uh, so that's a good indication that both are functioning. We have that connection working and both are connected directly through that access point option. Okay, so that's how you connect your Prowl Touch keypad to the Pro A7 Plus panel. Uh, again, we use the AP or access point mode to connect them directly. We showed how to get the SSID from the uh, Pro A7 Plus keypad. We got the, uh, the uh, Prowl Touch connected and we tested that connection to make sure both are functioning properly. If you have any questions for us, feel free to give us a call. Uh, we have a support line. The phone number is 888-818-7728. We have a support email. Uh, the email address is support at alarmgrid.com. And if you come to our website, which is www.alarmgrid.com, uh, we have a live chat service on there as well. So feel free to reach out to us any of those three ways. Again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid. Uh, if you did like the video, please like the video, hit the subscribe option and ring the bell for notifications. And thank you for watching.